dramatic revelation has come to the fore. Pakistan is now planning a big conspiracy to disrupt the G20 meet. The foreign guests coming to attend the G20 Tourism Working Group Conference will now miss the scenic beauty of the famous hill resort in Gulmarg. Reliable sources and security forces have said this decision was taken due to security reasons as terrorist organizations had conspired a repeat of 26-11 type of attack during G20 in Gulmarg at the behest of the Pakistani intelligence agency ISI. Sources are telling India today this is part of the crackdown just ahead of the big G20 summit. Security forces arrested a man called Farooq Ahmed in the last week of April. He used to provide his services as a driver in the famous five-star hotel in Gulmarg. He was associated with ter terror organizations as overground worker and also was in direct contact with ISI officials across the border. My colleague Ashraf Ani is now joining me on the story. Ashraf, this actually was something that a lot of people were anticipating. There actually was, uh, you know, a lot of people were thinking that there is a possibility that these kind of conspiracy the theories might come to the fore and now it has come to the fore that Pakistan was actually looking at disrupting the big G20 meet. Absolutely, Saniha. As you mentioned it now, this has brought a big change in the program of the G20 summit here in the Srinagar. Uh, at the 11th, at the, the last moment now, the authorities have decided that the delegates who are visiting uh, after a few hours to the Kashmir Valley Park participation in the G20 summit on tourism in uh, Srinagar. They were supposed to visit Gulbarg, the famous hill station, international famous hill station of Kashmir. Uh, that has now been curtailed off from their visit. So these guests will not be able to view the scenic uh, beauty of the Gulbarg. As you said, uh, that this uh, last minute change was made by the authorities after getting some inputs that the Pakistani intelligence agency, ISI, is uh, planning a big terror attack, not only uh, one, but many in the Kashmir Valley to disturb this G20 summit. That is why we have seen during the last so many days, there was huge security drill across the Kashmir Valley, particularly near and around the venue where this meeting is being conducted. In fact, some restrictions also been put in the movements for the civilians during uh, coming two days, that is Monday and Tuesday, uh, uh, ahead of these uh, uh, foreign uh, guests of very important nature in the Kashmir Valley. Uh, the security is already on high alert and all the arrangements are being made uh, that there should not be any kind of disturbance. If any clue is being uh, uh, got from by the security agencies that will be acted swiftly. And also uh, what we are getting to know that now the complete Srinagar city is on the radar and vigil of the security agencies. The Srinagar city is being monitored by the CCTV cameras as well as by the drones and same set of security right. setup is across the Kashmir Valley, particularly in the Srinagar city. Right, Ashraf, thank you so much, my colleague, giving us all the details with regard to the heightened security that is now taking place in Jammu and Kashmir.